Hey, welcome my friends to Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hope everybody's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about the one and only, the pilot, Pilot Falcon. Yes, it's been a while, around for quite a while, but still, for me, it's just happening. And thank you to a, a special friend of mine that uh, supports my channel, same with his pen, so thank you very much. Uh, and uh, here is the exciting, dynamic, cool fountain pen that comes in this black sleeve with the Pilot logo there. And it does say on the end, Pilot Falcon. You got it? Cool. The bird. Remember the bird, right? It's all about the bird. And as you pull out the pen case, bam, Pilot again. Beautiful Pilot fa uh, Falcon fa fountain pen. And we'll open it up and show you what's inside. We'll take out the pen first, set that aside, and pull this open. It does come with a pilot cartridge and the pilot use guide. So that's what it comes with. And it only uses the pilot cartridges. So anyway, we'll just put this back in. Set that aside, and we'll get this going right here. Okay, first of all, the pen is all black, it's resin, and has a gold trim, which is really nicely done, and I like the way the clip looks. The clip finally goes like, just, just kind of like up a little. The way it's shaped reminds me of a ski resort like you're going skiing Shh. but uh, that's just me anyway that's what it reminds me of it's a nice clip and top of the finial just got a plain gold spot up there and you got a little gold narrow band here as you go down the clip you got a wider band and it has some markings in the band beautiful and does say pilot in the band japan yes really beautiful and it has a thinner circle above the wide band as you go down this barrel you're going to come again to another gold ring and nothing on the bottom. So you got nothing on the bottom. You got the gold top on top of the finial. You got one, two, three thin uh, bands on the pin and one wide band on the pin with some decorations in the uh, within the uh, band. And it unscrews. First of all, does it post? Yes, it does. And it posts very securely. So, what are the measurements of this pin? As you see it here, length of this pin capped 5.4 inches. And when you post this pin, it's going to post into 5.9 inches. And the weight of the pin is going to be 19 Gs. Wow. And uh, they do put a uh, Con 40 converter in the pin. Uh, again, it uses the pilot cartridges. And let's talk about going down the barrel here. There's really no step off here. And uh, it's got a, a decent grip that can accommodate all sorts of uh, chunky sized fingers. Small, medium, thick, large. Uh, when you get right down to this beautiful nib. And that's what this pin's all about, this nib. It does have 14 K on the nib, 585 Pilot. And this is a SF with this soft fine. Now, we're going to do a writing test. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this pen as I write. So we'll just use my endless recorder here. Okay. 
anybody interested in picking one up, check out uh, Federalist Pins. I believe he has a few booklets left out there. So, now this nib, my friends, Pilot does not say this is a flex nib. But you can get some different line variations. But be very, very careful how you push this nib. You push it too much and you're going to spring the tie. And you don't want to do that. So let's get to writing and see how this pen operates. And then we'll go back to the pen. All right, pilot. Now you can use this pen all day long to write with. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. All right, so. Oh, here we go. Really sweet. Check for wetness. Nice, wet, juicy nib. Now, let's see about the different line variation. No pressure whatsoever. Now, this is with pressure. See the difference? No pressure, pressure. Pressure, no pressure. So you can tell the difference, right? You can get different line variations. Pass writing, no problem whatsoever with the ink uh, flow of this pen, steady. Try a little bit to reverse. And not a problem whatsoever. So, you can get a, like an extra fine out of that. So, let's again look at the pen. We'll take off the barrel. And there's the converter. Pull out the converter. And you push this one back in. As you can see, I've been 
uh, using the pin already, testing it out, see how this pin's going to fly, and uh, thumbs up. Really a nice fountain pin with a really nice juicy 14k gold nib. This is a soft fine nib and it does uh, give some different line variation. Do not push this nib too hard or you will regret it. You can definitely get some uh, flex out of it. Just don't push it too hard. Again, Pilot does not mention that it uh, will do that. But be kind to this pin. Be thoughtful to this pin. If you take care of this pin, this pin will take care of you. Don't apply all that kind of pressure. Like I did, and it will do just fine. And you can write with it all day long and not get tired of using this pen. All right, folks, that's going to run it up today. Hope you enjoyed the review on this Pilot Falcon. I do like that clip. It, to me, it's, uh, again, a, a ski slope. That's what I wanted to say. It reminds me. Ah, that's just me. So, appreciate your time, my good friends. Ink up them pens. Get to write and be busy. And, as always, follow the rules. Stay safe and don't text and please don't drive. Peace, love, we're gone. Bye-bye. Later!